Welcome to um, this guide to Netrunner 2016.1. Um, my name is Gavin Yule. Um, you might know me from my blog, EverydayLinuxUser.com. Um, so this version of Netrunner is a roll and release version. Uh, it's based on Manjaro. Uh, Manjaro is based on Arch. So um, what you get is something that's not necessarily um, the most stable, but it is cutting edge. Um, there are, in fact, two versions of Netrunner available. Uh, you can install either the main edition, which is based on Kubuntu, which in itself is based on Debian, which is uh, the one that's recommended for most people who, you know, want a stable system. Uh, if you want something with up-to-date software, uh, really want to go for it, then go for the roll edition, which is what I'm reviewing today. Um, you can download um, the software from netrunner.com forward slash download there's a 64-bit version of the rolling one 64-bit version of the latest Debian one um, but if you want a 32-bit you're going back to 14.2 which is a long-term support release okay so let's talk about Netrunner uh, when you boot into Netrunner for the first time, um, it um, goes to this rather space themed uh, background. You've got a panel at the bottom, uh, icons uh, to the bottom right, um, which do things like uh, connect to the internet, show you updates, audio settings, clock, or adjust the panels. Uh, Pressing this icon in the bottom left hand corner brings up a menu. It's a full screen menu as you can see. Uh, I'd like to say now that Chrome wasn't installed when I first started. And uh, if I go to the internet section, neither was Chromium. Um, so, what do you get when you first install Netrunner? You get these games here. Steam's installed. You don't get a football manager. I've installed that myself from Steam. Uh, I actually had a problem with Steam. Um, it wouldn't work straight away. Um, I actually had to run a command to get it to work. If you want to know what that is, um, go to everydaylinuxuser.com and look at the latest review for, for Netrunner there in the written guide. It shows you how it provides a link to how to fix the, the problem with Steam. It's not, t um, for me, it, it doesn't look like a, a good way to resolve the problem um, but it works it's effective so um, if you want steam um, visit my website everydaylinuxuser.com and read the written review of Netrunner um, so as you see games breakout chess burger space under the graphics section there's the uh, new image manipulation program GIMP as it's known to most people, you've got Gwen View, which is a photo manager, you've got Carbon and Critter, which are RT type programs, Scanlight is a scanning program, and Spectacle is a screen snap, uh, screenshot program. Uh, under the internet section, um, Chromium and Chrome weren't there to start with, uh, I've installed both of those. Um, Firefox is the default browser, you've got KDE Marble, which is a bit like Google Earth, you've got Conversation and Telepathy, which are both uh, well, sorry, conversation is an IRC client. You can then got pigeon and telepathy, which are like instant messaging programs. Skype is a video chat, as you probably know. Thunderbird is uh, email, and Q transmission is a bit torrent client. Uh, under multimedia, you've got Audacious, which is an audio package. Um, quite a pretty one, as you can see. Um, If you want something a little bit more functional, there's G Music Browser as well. And as you can see, I'll play a bit of King of Swing for you. Uh, there's no installing of multimedia codecs, but, uh, they work straight out of the box, so that's a good thing. Um, other things under multimedia, you've got Cantata, which is um, online radio. Um, you can basically choose local radio, you can choose podcasts, I'm in Aberdeen, so 
well I'm not actually I'm in Edinburgh today because I'm in a hotel but uh, as you can see lots of radio stations to choose from there uh, also under the multimedia you've got Handbrake which is um, DVD ripping or video encoding uh, Camozo is a webcam tool, Cadenlize video editing um, VLC media players, media player and then you've got Voco screen which is what is I'm using to record this video under Office you've got the of LibreOffice suite which uh, is the Linux answer to Microsoft Office um, to install software uh, there's a program called Discover. You can just start typing in here and it will bring up the applications. Um, now, Discover is the tool you're supposed to use, well, not necessarily supposed to use, but it's a graphical, shiny tool for installing software. Tell you what, it doesn't work. It sits around for hours, uh, doesn't show anything. Sometimes it shows something. Click install, it doesn't install. Sometimes you get a package kit error. It's just naff. Luckily, there's another program called Octopi, which does work. So you can find Eclipse, and it's there. I don't know. I don't know. Is NetBeans available? Yes, it is. Um, the other option, of course, is to install via the command line, and sometimes you all need to do this. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. So. Let's talk about Flash. Um, Flash doesn't work. No, well, Flash does work out of the box. It is installed, but it's an old version of Flash. So uh, I'm in a hotel at the moment. The TV is not working. So I've been watching TV via the computer. Uh, here's a website that I can use for that. It allows you to watch um, all the preview channels in the UK uh, on your computer, as long as you're in the UK. Um, and that works fine, no no issues whatsoever. But I wanted to watch a catch-up episode of Heroes Reborn, and lo and behold, the website says to view this page ensure that Flash plays 15 or above. Uh, it isn't, and the only way of now sorting that out is to install Chrome. Right, so to install Chrome, um, what I had to do uh, is type that command in there. That's yaort minus s google hyphen chrome. So yaort, that's y a o u r t hyphen capital S google hyphen chrome. Uh, and it will ask you a couple of questions there. No, no, yes, yes. So basically, you just say no until you get to the bit with installing it. And then it installs and it, it's fine from that point on. Um, and now uh, I can now watch Heroes Reborn. It's buffering a little bit, but uh, it uh, doesn't f throw up the flash error anymore. Um, it's buffering because I'm recording video and using all the resources to record the video. Um, you can customize the desktop, of course. It's KDE. Um, some good ones on here. Yeah. I quite like this one to be honest with you. Right. I think that's a really nice wallpaper. Nothing to do with the review really, it's just a nice wallpaper. Um, so that's really about it. So issues, uh, well the Discover program doesn't work at all. Steam doesn't work if you've got open source video drivers. Um, it does for some people, but not for others. And uh, there's a solution out there. Um, everything else seems to work very fine. The performance wasn't—I don't know. It boot up time isn't spectacular, um, and uh, <laughs> it's okay. The performance is okay. That's that's what we'll say. It's KDE's not really ever been my favourite desktop environment. Um, it's just too... Uh, feels too bulky for my liking. It's, it's not terrible but I, I would much prefer either XFCE or um, GNOME. Uh, KDE works. It is what it is. Um, and that's it really. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, put a thumbs up. Um, visit the website everydaylinuxuser.com 
and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.